My name is Kiana and if you've been keeping up with anything on my channel lately then you know I'm setting up my classroom which it may not look like because all you see is a mess but that is because we are like working and things are in action. Um, today is Wednesday June 30th and I've been like kind of unmotivated to decorate this week. I had a really big deadline on Monday and I was like really trying to get my classroom like together for that and now that that pressure is kind of gone I'm just like also, I'm in the process of actually moving homes, and that is also incredibly stressful. It's like things are just moving super fast. This is my last week of summer school, so I feel like this is going to be my last few days that I can even, well, not can be in the classroom, that I, but that I can like take advantage of this extra time in the classroom because I live so far away from my school. I've done some things the last couple of days that I'm going to share with you guys. I have some things that I bought that I'm also going to share with you guys. And then I don't really know what I'm going to work on, but I'm only going to allow myself to stay here maybe like 40 minutes. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what I've been doing. First, I just want you guys to see I wore shorts to summer school today. And this is a first. I always felt like shirts were not really like school appropriate, but my principal said that we could wear them. And even still, I was like, no, it's not worth it. Like, it's just not natural to wear shirts to school, but I did. And I got these from Old Navy. They're super wrinkly, but they're like the chambray or something. And they're like a good link, I would say. And um, I'm just cold in my classroom, but I just front tucked a little shirt and that's what I'm wearing at summer school today. But I just wanted to share that because I'm wearing shorts and that's insane. Also, me and my really good friend Caroline, she also teaches at my school across the hall. And we were both like saying like, oh no, like we can't wear shirts to school, that's not appropriate, whatever. And I walked into her classroom and I was like, girl, I wear shirts today. And I looked at her and she was also wearing shirts. We did not plan this. We both were thinking that the other was going to judge the other. Like I was going to judge her, she was going to judge me. And it was just so funny that even without speaking, we both did the same thing. And something that we both pledged that we wouldn't do. But. That's just a little story. Now let me show you my classroom. Okay, so when I last talked to you guys, I kind of left you on like a little cliffhanger about my, um, this bookshelf back here, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about what I am doing with it and how I set it up and all of those sorts of things. What I decided to do with the back of my bookshelf is I covered it with the, um, boxwood better than paper, vinyl, well not vinyl, but the better than paper. And I just took one roll and like started on the corner over here. As you can see and just wrapped it all the way around like so and then the extra I was able to just fold it over and I stuck it here but what I used was like the blue tack I don't know if you guys can see that I used that blue tack that's reusable but then it was starting to come up over here because it was rolled really tight so then I just put the some tape oh also what I did was I used the I used my Cricut to cut out these letters that says this is us so it shows like my students and blah, blah, blah. And I did like a drop shadow effect by cutting some in black and some in white and then gluing them together. I don't know if you can even see that. But I'm not gonna get too close, but you guys can see that I hung up some fairy lights 
but they're falling down they keep falling down but I'll show you what it looked like as I was assembling it so I'm gonna have to find another fix or something to help these stick up but for now what I'm going to do is just try to tape these back up and maybe come up with something later but I will show you what they look like lit up good now um so i also forgot to mention that i got these i found these pom-poms in my storage cabinet so i used to have pom-poms that hung from the ceiling above my table groups and like they held the numbers so these are from dollar tree you get two for one so these are perfect because they were just what i needed in order to do this and i wanted a classroom well i wanted to do this because i wanted to bring the greenery in the classroom but i also wanted like a picture display for my students where I could just put things from the rest of the school year. So I got these fairy lights on Amazon and they come with like a ton of clips. So here are the different clips that they come with. So you can, I'm really excited to have that. These are just some summer school pictures. Really, these are just like pictures of random things in the classroom, like not actual students because I needed this for something else. But that is that. And I love how it came out. Oh, and the lights are battery operated and you just, there's two settings. So you could do this, like a flash setting, or just have them on and still like that. died of course as I was just about to start getting in action but what I ended up doing was going to my car getting a lot of things uh, I got a lot of things out of storage yesterday after work so I went and got one of my classroom rugs a lot of my classroom pillows and like two of the crates that I plan to use this school year but I also have just still been overwhelmed by everything so I decided to kind of take the room bit by bit so I went ahead and cleared off the sink counter which is really nice um, and then I put away some things that like belong that were over here the teacher before me left me with a lot of good social studies books for fourth grade curriculum we do um, from like the colonies to after like to the American Revolution or actually we end at the Civil War because fifth grade picks up at post Civil War which is what I just taught so he left me with some really good books so I just put those in my classroom library now I think I'm gonna tackle this mess table I don't know on this table I have a few manipulatives that need to be put away just a lot of like manipulatives and supplies that need to be put away but I do want to show you this right here okay so if this is your first classroom set of vlog that you've watched from me then you may not know this but if you've seen my other videos all summer then you know this very well my classroom theme this year is like black white with some greenery like plants and such so that's why i have the boxwood bookshelf but i also found these on amazon during prime day and it's like just like some plant vines some artificial plant vines and what i plan to do is i will braid them i have some footage of me braiding them and untangling them and what I'm going to do is hang them along the top of my whiteboard um, they're gonna go on top of my LED lights so I can still turn those on and like set this the tone mood in the classroom with those but these will be like a great pop of greenery so these are the extra ones that I have left I don't know if I'm gonna hang them like on top of this or maybe on top of the back whiteboard or maybe on top of this bookshelf right here I don't really know what I'm gonna do braided them and then I just laid them on the floor like this so they're gonna actually go up there on top of the whiteboard but I don't think it's long enough because I want it to hang down the sides so I don't think it's long enough just yet but that is what I have created so far also guys i am so sorry i was looking back at some of my vlogs and i feel like i give you guys whiplash with how fast i move the camera i'm gonna try to do a little better with that it's just hard to keep my camera on the tripod when i'm moving around the classroom and all those sorts of things so i will try to do better about moving slowly in my transitions to show you guys the room sorry about that
I cleared off most of the table, except for this one box, and that's just because there's a few things in here that I brought from home that I want to share with you guys. You guys have, of course, already seen the pillows. Um, but I told you guys that Prime Day I got some contact paper for my bookshelves. So this is the white print that's going to go on the like front facing side of the bookshelf. So like the parts that we can see. So it's going to be basically facing us like this. Isn't it so pretty? So cute. And I have a ton of it so I might be using it elsewhere in the classroom. We'll see. Then I also got this like black faux wood one. I don't know if you guys can see the details. And so this is what's going to go on the outside of the bookshelf. So like the perimeter and then also the tops of the shelves. So super cute. And then I told you guys that this is in my Target haul if you haven't seen that yet. Um, but I told you guys that I was also getting the black masking tape. So I got the scotch black masking masking tape and this is what I'm going to use for like the edges of the bookshelf so that I'm not cutting out little thin strips of contact paper. It's not focusing but you get the gist. Um, and then one last thing I have in here is this carpet tape that I got from Prime Day because I got my brand new, well not, I ordered some brand new rugs but also I brought my old rug too so I'll go ahead and show you that. Honestly y'all like the progress though. Do you see this? Also, the mirror will not stay there. It's going to go on that back door over there. Just hanging out here for now. But the progress. Oh my gosh. The first time you've seen the junk table without junk since I've moved into this classroom. Literally. So, that's exciting. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what I brought from my car. Well, that I brought from storage. This is not from my last year's classroom because we couldn't have any things for, because of COVID. But this is from my classroom two years ago so there's this big rug i think it's like four by six it's one of those ikea rugs you've probably seen it in a lot of other classrooms um that i don't know what i want to do with i'm really unsure what i want to do with it but it's here these pillows slash cushions are from ikea don't even know how old they are and yeah then in here whoops I have this like old Ikea rug that I put in front of my classroom sink. So I'm gonna put this in front of the classroom sink probably today. And then just more pillows. And I'm gonna be purging all of the non black and white pillows. So this one's actually lying in the trash. And then there's more black pillows. These are all old. These I got from the Target Dollar Spot two years ago. They're black and white and they have like a composition notebook thing on the back so I'm definitely keeping these this year and then these I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year but I couldn't use them so you can see that like they literally still have the tag on so I bought two of these to go in my classroom chairs which are in my trunk I don't know if I'm bringing them into the classroom or if I'm gonna sell them on Facebook marketplace but they're mostly black and white there is a little blue fringe but I'm gonna keep these mostly because I never use them so keeping those so two of those two of the composition notebooks and they will pair well with my two this year so lots of Lots of the black and white feels in the classroom. And then also my first year of teaching, I was really creative. And I did everything Pinterest because when I first started teaching, Instagram was not a thing. Um, and I like covered all of my cheap crates with fabric because I was too broke to like buy fabric containers. Um, but now like seven years later, the plastic is starting to come off. Well, the hot glue is starting to come off. So I'll probably honestly just strip these down because it looks bad anyway and use these black crates in my classroom. The last thing I grabbed from storage was this really nice, I don't know, I guess it's like a laundry basket, basket thing. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby, I think my first, right before my first year of teaching when my classroom colors were black, white, and blue. Um, I think what I'm going to do this summer though is I, because we have a house now, I'm going to spray paint it black but you see these are all my reading buddies from when I taught second grade. The kids would grab like a stuffed animal and read independently with their stuffed animal but I think I'm going to just take all these to Goodwill and then put all the black pillows inside this once I spray paint this black or gold or something and this will just be a pillow container. What I'm going to do now is dump these into one of the boxes that I have to take home to pack my house and then put this rug on the floor 
and put all the pillows in there for now because I'm not gonna be spray painting this until we are well into our new house. <laughs> bit out of breath but I got the classroom rug down this is older so I don't really care about how it looks but it's about to get covered as you guys probably saw at first I tried to put it in the classroom library I know I want a rug there but I really want a circular black and white rug I just haven't been able to find it so I was like let me just see what this would look like and it didn't look well um, it was like running into the table and it just wasn't gonna work so now what I'm about to do is set up my classroom stage on this carpet here in the front of the classroom. If you have not seen my classroom stage before or how I set it up, this is the easiest way. I have a whole highlight on Instagram, which I can link here um, in the description. And it just talks about like the materials, the steps and all that. But I'm going to do like a fast pace, show you how easy it is to at least assemble. Um, I love my classroom stage, even with these low ceilings in this new classroom. So let me show you how I do it. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sweaty and like out of breath. So it's a very easy stage to assemble. As you can see, I'll go closer in just a bit. But center blocks are really heavy and they turn off the AC after a certain time. So I'm like super sweaty. My camera battery died, which is even more reason for me to go ahead and wrap up this vlog and head home. But before I do, I do want to just talk to you about a few things about the stage and then I'm going to skedaddle. Okay, so as you saw, the stage is really just um five cinder blocks that are like eight by eight by 16 maybe not even 16 i can't remember something like that and then this is three fourth of an inch thick plywood i believe um and it's two by four two feet by four feet and i just spread the cinder blocks wide enough to cover the base or the area of this uh this wood and then cheaply i got some fabric to just cover the perimeter i had some tassels but i'm not going to put those on there as you can see they're already coming off this is two years old but whew, as i was assembling that i looked up and i looked at these um plants and i realized i have some extras so i think what i'm going to do is just staple with my staple gun, the plants are on the perimeter of the stage this year. You can see it needs to be touched up in a few places, but I have the paint for that. So class stage is done. My class stage is very simplistic. It's not like a grand, super big stage, but the reason I wanted the stage and like my little stage is one, my classroom's not that big as you can see, but two, it helps to command attention to the classroom. Like you're elevated above the students, so it's easy for all students to have their eyes on you. And when I step on the stage, it makes an audible sound like, and that automatically brings all of their attention to me often. And sometimes I do my call and responses from up here as well. Um, as you can see, I can still like write on the board, but because this classroom is has lower ceilings than my last school, I am like at the top of the board, so it's hard to do things down below but um for now it's here don't know how long it'll last we'll see if my student teacher is comfortable with it but that is today's vlog i didn't really do much as you can see the desk area is still not really accomplished but also i mean stage and carpet are done planter you're getting the gist counters and tables are getting cleaned off so it's like, eh, eh. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and head out. If you have any questions about anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. As you know, most of the things that I buy are from Amazon and they should be linked in the description. I'll be sure to do the Instagram 
tutorial for the stage. And if I can, I'll link the Ikea rug if you are interested in that. I know they still have it and it's $25 now. I think I got it for 20. So in the last three years, it increased by $5, which isn't awful. So I'm gonna head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be posting videos a lot more often than typical because I am trying to get this classroom set up. And then I've been buying lots of things, getting things ready for the new school year. So be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of my classroom setup and all that I have before the school year starts. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.